Hello, the vinyl community. It's a hard way to start a vinyl CD update. <laughs> but uh, today it is the 18th of October and it arrived a package. Yes, I have ordered from the web store Ginza that I have told about before. <laughs> I, you may, might remember that I had a little problem before when with the records that didn't show up and so on. and. Uh, I have a little bit of the same problem right now. There's one record still uh, that I haven't gotten yet because they don't have it in their store. But uh, the, they say that I will send it as soon as they get it. And uh, this time it is a record that is a compilation from uh, a certain label of 70 Souls. So I think it will be a little bit easier than the Church's album last year. Uh, but uh, let's see. Uh, by the way, however, let's see now what is in this package. This time I have a scissor in my hand. Easier to open. So, let's see if I can get it up. The package is opened. Bill. <laughs> uh, and to... Um, Make it better from last time I ordered the churches, this time also, but a whole different album. The synth -pop, British synth pop group Churches, uh, that uh, is maybe one of the most interesting new synth pop bands uh, in recent years. Uh, this time I ordered their uh, latest album, uh, Every Open Eye, uh, and this is. Uh, uh, special uh, deluxe edition with three bonus tracks and it costed me a very very low price so I'm very satisfied to order this instead of the regular one it's going to be very interesting my first church's album uh, obviously since I didn't get the other one uh, more this album is from 2015 and this one is also kind of new. This is Ahos, latest album, Cast in Steel. Also I got for a very low price. Uh, Ahos sounds better than uh, in a long, long time. Uh, very relaxing and very nice uh, pop music. Uh, the title track is really, really good. Under the makeup, the first single is really, really good. Uh, objects in a mirror really good so this is going to be very very interesting and also I found another uh, jazz album from Past Perfect Silver Line with Art Pepper called Chili Pepper uh, with the recordings from um, 40s and 50s so these were the three that I ordered this time uh, hoping to get uh, the last one also pretty soon. However, let's move on and see what I got more this month. Well, hello there, YouTube and vinyl community. What you just saw was, of course, pre recorded uh, last week. And uh, if you stay tuned after I've said goodbye to this video, in this video, uh, you will see uh, another clip because uh, a new package arrived just days after I shot this one. So, so uh, after I said goodbye, just keep on rolling. Uh, good day, you too. Uh, it's time again for another vinyl and CD update. This time for October. The months just keep going on, and there you can see this is my hot pepper that I just showed. Uh, October have been a little more normal, uh, thank God. <laughs> uh, it's been totally insane. It's been raining records all over me f from the summer until right now. So uh, I needed a little more of a 
breather to, to uh, be able to sort the records that I've gotten and, and listen to as many as possible and to uh, get myself together. So I needed a breather. So so it, and the, but it hasn't been all that bad month still. Uh, I found a lot of great stuff during this uh, the past week. So uh, I still have pretty good stuff to show anyway. Uh, so let's start with CDs. I have only three this time. Swedish funk soul, uh, jazz soul group uh, Blackness. Uh, previously Blackness All Stars. Uh, fantastic band from the 90s. And their uh, compilation, Decade of Soul, Jazz and R&B. Uh, can compare a little bit to Jamie Roquai and stuff like that. This is, I, I really like this band. It's so incredibly funky. So uh, really happy to find a collection of the best songs. Uh, we have uh, David Halliday, French-born uh, rock singer who had uh, some minor hits in the 90s. Especially I love the song Ooh La La. Uh, it was a great song in 91. So uh, it's going to be interesting to listen to the entire album. And felt like an eternity since I bought something by George Michael. So uh, it will be interesting now when I found uh, Songs from the last century, uh, from 1999. This is uh, where he sings different kind of covers of other people's songs. We have Roxanne, we have Brother Kenny Spare, Spare Dime, we have My Baby Just Care For Me, Miss Sergevo, uh, uh, You've Changed, uh, I Remember You, stuff like that. So it can be very, very interesting. Uh, not the first time George Michael does covers, so I have nothing but high hopes for that one. Uh, vinyl singles, bought some, uh, found a lot of great stuff for, for uh, only 10 cent, also among others. Uh, first of all, the one that I am uh, very happy about. I don't collect these kind of first pressings and or this kind of special editions normally, but fun to have when I find it. So this is the rock set, the look, but this is not the ordinary release. Uh, this is a limited special edition with the red vinyl. So uh, very very interesting and. Uh, Still fun to have the original one as well as this one. Uh, I I, li I like rock set even though this song is a bit overplayed to say the least. Uh, it still is a very good song, but uh, just reading the lyrics, it's uh, not the m most logical lyrics, uh, but but still a good song. Uh, the stuff that I found for Tencent, I did a lot of blind buys that I had no idea of what it was, but, but interesting to try it out and see what it is. Uh, Sherry, uh, I had no idea what this was, but uh, it's, 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 uh, it says in Dutch here, so I guess they are from uh, the Netherlands, Holland, something like that. My Second Skin is the title of the track from 1987. Not all that bad, actually. It's pretty good. Uh, great uh, 80s pop music. Uh, not a hit song, but still pretty good, so I'm going to keep it. For now, anyway. Uh, house music. Humanoid, uh, who, British, uh, who had a hit in 1987 with Stacker Humanoid. This is another single by them called Slam. Uh, and it's from 1989. Not as uh, strong as Stack and Humanoid, but still a great house track. Uh, in Stockholm, I bought a record with the, uh, the gorgeous girl from fame, Nia Peoples, who played uh, Nicole. Uh, and now I found a single by her, a later one, from 1991 called Street of Dreams. Uh, 
produced by Patrick Leonard, who had, among others, worked with Madonna. And we have uh, Belgian music. This is, uh, I think it is Belgian, Belgian anyway. Uh, this is hypnotic, uh, techno and, and uh, dance group from uh, 1900 and uh, we will doesn't say, but I think it's some kind of a late 80s. Uh, Ready or not, and this is pretty good. This is a uh, Euro disco, very early style, uh, and uh, very, 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 very well made. This was a complete blind buy. I had no idea what this was, but uh, I guess this is also some kind of a Belgian or, or a Dutch uh, stuff. Uh, this is uh, Ste Stefan Gillian and a song called Sarah Sarah from uh, 1987. Pretty good 80s pop. Uh, not so bad actually. Uh, gonna keep it. Uh, business and yet another trance and techno group uh, with Get Into Trance. Uh, this is produced by Phil Wild and the Costa JP. And these are the the men behind Two Unlimited, so I think this is uh, Two Unlimited before they became Two Unlimited. Steve Walsh, I had no idea who he was before I googled up, and he's in, he is some kind of a uh, DJ, uh, television personality, or was he's not uh, alive anymore. Uh, this is a song called Let's Get Together Tonight, produced by Stock, Aitken and Waterman. Uh, so, uh, in, uh, pretty good only for that, from 1987. Uh, maybe not the strongest Stock, Aitken and Waterman song, but still very, very well made, good produced and a good melody. And, a ba Italo Disco, a band called Clubhouse, from 1988. And a kind of a song where they have mixed uh, I'm a Man, uh, Spencer Davis Group, Chicago, uh, with the, the world music hit Jackie Jackie in 1988, uh, sung by uh, Morikante. And they mixed that one in one song. And I had to buy it just to hear how it sounds like because it's so totally weird, too weird and two different songs to, to mix in one song. It actually sounds pretty good. Uh, they managed to uh, mix it with some great Italo dance and uh, take the most interesting part of each song and, and uh, mix it into uh, one song. Uh, I'm a Man of course is not as good as the original and Chicago version but, but still it's a very interesting made. Mike of the Mechanics Time and Place from 1991. Uh, yesterday, today, tomorrow on the other side. And we have a Bill Joel, Keep the Faith from uh, the Innocent Man album. She's right on time at the other side. And older stuff. Survivor, I Can't Hold Back. And uh, Burning Heart at the other side. The, the, hit from the Rocky album. And I admit I bought it for Burning Heart nearly. Uh, we have some very interesting stuff. The Bar Busters, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts with Light of Day from uh, the movie Light of Day where she actually uh, Joan Jett is uh, doing some acting. She's in this movie together with Michael J. Fox. Uh, interesting. Uh, and uh, Joan Jet song I have actually never heard before. And finally, I don't collect 60s music all that much, but when I find something that I actually like, I want it. Uh, and this is a song that I always been a fan of. Well, not always. Uh, when I was a kid, I thought this one was a too sad song. <laughs> but but uh, the more I got older, the more I started to realize that's how good this was. Uh, this is One Way Ticket 
originally by uh, uh, Neil Sedaka, it's a B-side of O'Carroll. Uh, but in Sweden, it became a, a huge hit again with the Swedish singer Elinor Budel. Uh, and it is a very dramatic song in, in the sound, in the production, very dramatic. Uh, I'm posting, of course, as usual, some uh, links to uh, YouTube links to different songs. You can hear this song among those. Uh, and uh, I like this song. This one is uh, very tragic song, very very uh, sad song, but also in this version very dramatic. So, so I really like this one. It's very good to have this one. So let's go to full-length vinyls. I have a couple of those also. Uh, many of them bought just this week. Uh, the impressions, Curtis Mayfield's impressions, however this time when they have left Khartoum, Khartoum uh, label and uh, uh, it's still pretty good, very very good. Uh, we're very well made, some songs are extremely great. The final song, what, what might have been, is so really really great and also having Ray Parker Jr. and Lee Rittenauer at uh, guitars never be wrong. Uh, this one is from 1976. Uh, Swedish dance project Clubland. Some of you might remember them from uh, uh, the early 90s uh, when they had uh, several hits at the American dance charts. Uh, and um, with vocalists, uh, the late, unfortunately, Simi Hamilton, among others. This is, I think, their first album uh, with songs that uh, are not all that famous. They, they became fa more famous with the second album. It's very, very well-made Swedish house music, house uh, dance music. This album I actually have on cassette. But I wanted so long to have it uh, a copy on, on vinyl, and finally I found a great copy on vinyl of uh, Simple Minds Once Upon a Time. Uh, in my opinion, maybe one of uh, maybe Simple Minds' best album. I really like this album. Mick Karn from uh, the synth pop group Japan, and Titles uh, from 1982. Uh, I've been listening to quick peeks of this one, and it sounds very much like uh, Japan's music, however instrumental, uh, and it's very much experimental and very, very a little strange, but but very, very interesting, very, very interesting and unpredictable. So it's gonna be very interesting to listen to this one. Paul Carrack and the Carrack Collection. This is a compilation released in 1988 of his earliest uh, recordings uh, and even if it's released in 1988 it does not contain uh, the song that he was more famous of at this time uh, Don't Chat a Tear and uh, When You Walk in the Room and so on however this is one song where it sings with Mike and the Mechanics I was hoping for more but uh, and we have uh, songs by Ace, we have songs by Squeeze, uh, and we're having uh, some solo tracks from the early 80s. So uh, very, very interesting to listen to Paul Carrack in its earliest form. Uh, I'm not all that huge fan of Diana Ross, I said it before. Uh, at least not from the 80s, with exception from Eaten Alive. Uh, hard time listening to her voice. But I came across a Diana Ross album that I felt like I gotta have this one, and it's very early. I think she her best Diana Ross best uh, periods are in the, her earliest solo careers, uh, just after she had left uh, Supremes. Uh, and I don't think that you Adam Ades haven't had this Diana Ross album. Her third solo album ever, Surrender, from 1970. 71. Uh, all songs, or uh, without, with exception from one, who is a cover, is produced and written by uh, Ashford and Simpson. 
So, uh, and this one is really, really good, actually. I think, in my opinion, <laughs> this is uh, maybe my absolute favorite Dana Ross album. Because it's so well produced and well made. It's an album that I wanted to have for so long that I, from the beginning, thought that this one may not be this or its absolute best album. I, I can't think that. So I was a little bit hesitating to it, but then I heard some songs on a single, 7 inch single, I heard the song um, Through These Walls and, and uh, Do You Know, uh, Do You Care? And I th thought to myself, I gotta have this album now. Uh, this could be a whole lot better than I thought, and it is. Phil Collins, uh, Phil Collins, Hello, I Must Be Going from 1982. This one is really, really good. Uh, but I think that You Can't Have a Love is a bit overplayed and a little bit cheesy, but the rest of the album, like China, is a great, great song. Uh, and uh, it's really, really unpredictable and very much of uh, Phil Collins' drums and uh, relaxing. Most of all, a very relaxing and great Phil Collins album. Fifth Dimension, Living Together, together Growing Together. Uh, from 1973. Uh, I actually thought that uh, this was going to be be a uh, real soul, but it was uh, more poppy, more pop music than, than that. But it was really, really good anyway, so I was happy surprised. It wasn't what I expected, but it was still really, really good. I have two albums by uh, former 10CC members Godly and Cream. Uh, this is uh, Isms, Ismism, uh, from 1981. And since I like 10 CC, it's going to be very, very interesting. Listen to quick peeks of them, and it sounds very, very interesting. And uh, this album is uh, even older. This is from 1978, self-titled. Very, very interesting. Quincy Jones. Uh, very, very modern Quincy Jones. Uh, we're talking 1989 here. Uh, and uh, back back on the block. And this is very much 80s uh, soul disco soul music style. And uh, I like that kind of music also. It's, it's so impressive how this man Quincy Jones had done it all. He had made big band, he had made soul music, he had made uh, uh, produced Michael Jackson to success, he also made uh, really soul disco music uh, of the late 80s also. He had done it all and still it sounds so great. Paul Simon, There Goes Rhyming Simon from 73. And finally, some jazz, or a little easy listening, slash jazz, maybe I could, you can call it. Ramsey Lewis, the pianist, and uh, the movie album, it plays different kind of uh, music from different movies. Uh, theme from Paul Brooker, you have uh, From Russia With Love, from the Bond movie with the same name. Uh, Shadow of Your Smile, Going Hollywood, Gentle Rain, and uh, it's uh, also uh, it's a fantastic arranged uh, by uh, Richard Evans. Uh, made, uh, Richard Evans have made a fantastic arrangement. And uh, interesting here is also that uh, on drums, in this trio that plays behind the big orchestra, we find Maurice White from Earth, Wind and Fire. But it's very relaxing uh, uh, movie music, a uh, little jazzy style and so amazing uh, arranged. So that was October.
let's see what November has to offer as we go into a month where might be coming a lot of snow winter might be coming uh, soon it will be Christmas uh, and it's going very very fast right now so uh, um, I have uh, still a lot of things to do I have a uh, 10 on 1 from 50s I have uh, a new year's celebration I will do so uh, until next time I hope that each and every one of you have a very great week and uh, take care so long Today, vinyl community, my final record from Ginza arrived, uh, and this time the rest note was really good. They actually kept the, their promise. So this time I have gotten everything. Let's open this up and reveal what kind of a label I have bought a compilation from. You know, that it's easy to open this, these, these boxes. A uh, compilation from Kurton, Curtis Mayfield's uh, own record label. Uh, Kurton Funk, 20 original classic funk tracks. So uh, this is very, very interesting. Uh, and we have a lot of names I haven't heard before, but uh, it's great. Well, I heard of Lena Clifford, of course, because I have shown records by her here at the Vine community, but we have um, impressions, of course, and Curtis himself. Uh, but we have the Jones Girls, never heard of the Amazers, Jesse Anderson, the Five Stair Steps and QB, Baby You and the Babysitters. Uh, it's a lot of names that I haven't heard of, but uh, it will be very, very interesting to listen to. So uh, now I have everything from Ginza this time. So uh, until next time, Vine community, take care. So long. <laughs>